One of the new features in the Puffin firmware starting with version 1.3, currently in beta at the time of this video, is the Easy Menu. What is the Easy Menu? Well, the Easy Menu is just a short, customizable list of functions that you normally use with your Puffin. The old main menu was getting long as I added more and more features, and this just makes the interface a little more user-friendly. So, it's useful for new users who are intimidated by the Puffin's growing and expansive feature set with just a few controls like gain, warmth, air, and magic on it. But it's just as useful for the longtime Puffin user as you can customize this list of controls exactly the way you want. And you don't need to scroll down a long list every time you are toggling magic on and off or switching between stereo or mono mode. So here's the the traditional full menu, which is the way Puffins have been since the very beginning. Uh, the full menu is a numbered list, and it's a big loop, as the end of the list connects back to the start of the list. You have the VU levels in between, and then we're back at one. And I, I did this because I knew that, hey, if you're at the top of the list, it's easier to get to the bottom of the list by just going up. Now we have the easy menu. Which is item 21. The easy menu is not numbered and it doesn't loop. It's bounded by the top and bottom functions. So with these differences, you automatically know which menu you're in at a glance. No numbers, it's shorter, it's bounded, you don't get in a loop and get confused. The Puffin's local settings are saved at shutdown, so you'll always end up using the same menu system you were on uh, previously. So if I turn it off right now, we're on the easy menu. And if I turn it, all the settings get saved. And when we turn it back on, uh, you'll still be in uh, the easy menu. So you'll be at the top of the easy menu. And if you were in the full menu, you'd be at the top of the full menu. Let's go back to the full menu. On the full menu, you can tell what is also mirrored to the easy menu by looking at the periods after the numbers. So we have a numbered list here, and we have little dots, periods after each number. And the little periods, the little dots, mean it is not on the easy menu. It is not mirrored to the easy menu. But the fat periods mean it's also on the easy menu. So there we see that gain and warmth and air are all on the easy menu. We can toggle this by pressing the select button for just a second. One one thousand. Now the little dot became a fat dot and volume is now on the easy menu. There you go. You can also take any of these items off the easy menu the same way you put them on by just holding the select button for a second. So we can go ahead and uh, let's take air, let's say we don't use air that much. We set it for our cartridge, like a loading control, uh, to make it just sound just right at the, at the upper frequencies. But we don't need to do it all the time. So we just hold it down for a second, let go, and it's popped off. It's no longer there. It was between warmth and magic, and it's gone. So everything can be added or removed to the easy menu, except the menu select right here. You can't remove this. If we hold it down for a second, uh, nothing happens. That has to stay. But you can remove, remove everything else. You would just have a, a menu item of a single item. Also, on the full menu, I have the new test and measurement suite. We have this collapsible menu of test items with a RPM checker and azimuth checker. That has to stay in the menu. In the, in the full menu and can't be moved. But anything else can. 
heck, even these VU uh, readings here, the, the A, AV, that's our, the input at the ADC, those levels, and that's the average. And the D is the uh, DAC average levels. And uh, we toggle between average and peak there. But uh, right now we're on, let's say we wanted to look at the, the output average levels. Well, just hold it down for a second. The little periods become fat periods. And now that is also on our, on our easy menu. Uh, let's put grade on there too. I like to grade my records. Okay, there's our, there's our averaging, our, uh, our output levels. There's grade and magic, and uh, air is gone, and volume is there. So the easy menu just mirrors a subset of the full menu. The control settings will still be the same. Uh, so if you've got something adjusted on the full menu, it will still be set to that same setting on the easy menu. Maybe you have tinnitus or, and you always have the high filter set to 11 kilohertz and you never adjust it. So you just leave it at 11 kilohertz and there's no need to have it on the easy menu. Uh, one caveat, this may hide a problem for you too. So when troubleshooting poor sound, you might have to go back to the full menu settings or possibly just load a, a default setting from set. Uh, the problem I run into is usually I've listened to a mono record, I ha have the mode set to mono, and I forget to switch back to stereo when I start when I switch to a stereo record. That's the one that gets me the most and, and, and dumbfounds me sometimes. Well, anyhow, that's the easy menu.